What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for surprises? Ooh, I like surprises. Hey, nerdlings, Chris, the old ass retro gamer here, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Well, do you? Yes, I actually have a surprise. I ran by a flea market and I found something that I wanted to show you because I feel like you're going to appreciate it as much as I did. Check out the vinyl album I found. Oh my gosh, Billy Bob, that is amazing. Here is an album, G, our first album, the Rock a Fire Explosion Showbiz Pizza Place. All right, so here's also the thing. Also probably where the Five Nights at Freddy's inspiration came from. Oh, absolutely. This was terrifying. Look at these guys. This wasn't cool as a kid. These were scary then, and they're scary now. I don't know what people were thinking with animatronics Why back Why do you in the think day. they made it into a horror game? Nolan Bushnell, yes, that guy. The Atari guy, 1977, he opens up Chuck E. Cheese. Perhaps you guys have heard of this little fun arcade pizza-themed chain. In 1980, in Kansas City, Missouri, a little uh, home state pride, the <laughs> very first showbiz pizza, pizza place. Uh. Darren Bushnell wanted to expand into new markets, so he signed a deal with Robert Brock of Holiday Inn Hotels. However, Brock backed out and voided the agreement because he saw some other tech that he thought was going to be a better competitor against Chuck E. Cheese, and thus he opened his showbiz pizza place. And we even had one right here in our town. I think it was by 84, the uh, the Pizza Time company was going through bankruptcy, and that was, that's... This sounds exactly like Five Nights at Freddy's. And that's when, <laughs> well, no children were eaten by animatronics. That we know of. But that is when uh, it kind of merged into Chuck E. Cheese, and then, you know, everything kind of went in, in that direction, because I think it was by 93, future Tom, please correct me if I'm wrong on these dates, that's when all of the showbiz pizza places were rebranded as Chuck E. Cheese, if they weren't just closed down and liquidated. I used to have a doll of the cheerleader mouse and Billy Bob himself, but I want you to take a look at that. Oh, on the back, that these, is, that these is pictures right look here. Look at the eyes. They're already like glassed over zombie eyes. I mean, it's terrifying. Well, I guess that look goes perfect for this side B song, Going, going Crazy. crazy. That brings back so much memory <laughs> and nostalgia. So, yeah. Wow. I found this. They had a buck on it, and I couldn't resist. Ooh, I mean, yeah, when perfect. are you going to that find something so like perfect. this? That is so perfect. And I knew that you would appreciate it. It <laughs> oh would gosh, be like a yes. flood of nostalgia. So, quick question. You obviously went to Showbiz. Oh, yeah. Did you ever have a party or go to a birthday party or anything there? Dude, I was like three or four. <laughs> I have no idea. Honestly. I feel like we must have had a birthday party, like either for me or my sister there, or went to someone's, I, I do remember a party. I don't know if it was mine or a friend's. That was fun. I honestly don't remember, obviously I was way too young to remember what the pizza tasted like. <laughs> I do remember thinking that they were alive. They were cool. And then, yeah, like I said, every bit of this story sounds exactly like Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> it's like, this is, this is where it came from. And you know, it's like, these were way more terrifying than when you go to Chuck E. Cheese now and they have the animatronics come on. I, I think They're not as scary now. I think they've made them not so scary <laughs> now. All right, well, now is your chance, nerdlings, to leave some comments down below. If you want to share something about Chuck E. Cheese, please go right ahead. But especially if you happened to have any nostalgia, yes. recollection, memories, or stories of Showbiz Pizza Place, please let us know because that is a chain that you really don't hear a whole lot of talk about. Did you out. get to go? I did, uh, I think like one time, so it was it was rare. <laughs> but I love the fact that the very first one opened in Kansas City, yes. Missouri, because that's so close to yep. us. Uh, whereas Chuck E. Cheese, I believe first opened up in California, which makes sense because Bushnell and Atari yeah. never went out there. So yeah, uh, very hometown hillbilly, nightmare fuel robot bear. Let we, us know, nerdlings. We need to find videos of this. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Bye, <nerds>. Fun. <laughs> Good night. Bye-bye, <laughs> dearlings. Let this be haunting your dreams. I bet that pizza tastes good. Mm -hmm. You've never seen a place like Showbiz Pizza Place. We'll serve you a pizza second to none. So come for the pizza. Stay for the fun. Now,
Well, showbiz is more fun than ever with a $160,000 sweepstakes and thousands of food and cash prizes. You could win. So come for the pizza, stay for the sweepstakes. Ooh. Can I open my eyes? They all have teeth. Why do animatronics need teeth?